Hi guys, it's me Adrian. I uh, just wanted to make a quick little video in response to uh, Sega making uh, it's this video is in response to uh, the company Sega how they're releasing these audio cassette tapes to uh, you know in individual fans and they got written on them to, to be this good it takes ages due to the new um, the new thing they got going with the mobile gaming well I just wanted to make a quick video well I'll try and I'll try and keep it quick you know on just my thoughts on on, on this and and just to show you guys about what I've been doing um, for a very long time <clears throat> And well, regarding the cassettes, I mean, I can tell you now, you know, what's their slogan? Uh, to be this good, it takes ages. Well, I would, with me, I would rephrase that to, to get this many, it takes bloody ages. Because as you can see, I have audio cassette tapes here, and they're all of Sega music. So, I can assure you, I've... I've been doing it a lot longer than Sega have. <laughs> right. I have one here of Yuzo Koshiro. So when was this recorded? See, look, I've even put the date on it. 8th of the 10th, 2007. So one side is Streets of Rage, the other side is Batman Returns. They're mostly all Master System music on cassette, but yeah, I think I'm way ahead of Sega. <laughs> I've been doing a better job than they have. And, not only that, but... I have in this box... I have my own personal collection... Of VGM recorded music. All on CD, compact disc. So, I'm way ahead of data discs. Because data discs have started putting uh, Sega music on vinyl which is really good it's it's pretty cool but I think this is even better and I'll, I'll go through them like I've done all these myself I've recorded them from the games <clears throat> and I've put I've recorded them on disc so you know like they're just homemade that's all But, you know, at least I do have artwork. It's not as fancy, but, you know, it's something. What's this, the Lion King? I even put the little, uh, the Japanese Mega Drive logo on the, on the start there. In the gap there, something I wanted to do. This one's pretty cool because I, I put a lot of effort into this one. It's the Mega Drive, sound, Mega Drive Genesis soundtrack of the Lion King. Even on the back, it's got another picture. And if you open it up, <coughs> I even put a picture of the composer or sound converter on the inside. But you can see that's Matt Furness. How cool is that, huh? Mickey Mania. It's in a slim case, so there wouldn't there wouldn't be any other artwork. Uh, this one's interesting, uh, Robo Alesta soundtrack. Um, this one isn't actually a Mega Drive sound uh, game. It's a Mega CD game, but it's not the original Robo Alesta soundtrack. It's customized. I, I I changed it myself. It's actually all the music from uh, one of the Sonic hacks. One of the cancelled demo Sonic hacks. I think it's called Sonic Boom. It was made up of all uh, Mega Man songs and oh, what's that other game? Mega Mega Man was one of them. I can't think of the other one, but they're all like um, really fast heavy metal FM style music, similar to Shinobi Three in the sound of that. Oh, I didn't put any effort in this one. Uh, all 
this one. This one hasn't got much. Ah. Atomic Runner. Slim cases. These are all slim cases. Uh, yeah, and I, they're not all on CD. Some of them are on DVD. But don't get that confused with the ordinary DVD you would buy in the shop. This What I used to do is... Um, because, you know, with, sometimes with CDs it's annoying because you only got that 80 minute music mark. You know, you can only put 80 minutes worth of music and sometimes I like to put more. So I've got two choices. Either I use a DVD where I can record up to, you know, two hours or three hours, four hours of music in one hit or I make a double CD album. So in the early days I used to prefer to put them on DVD. So all it is, it works just the same way as a CD audio CD but you have to play it in a DVD player and you wouldn't see anything on the screen it would just be a black black screen throughout the whole thing but you'd, you'd hear all the music you know so hit right here it's a, it's about two hours worth of music it's the whole uh, what's it called Shinobi music DVD it's the entire Shinobi 3 and Shadow Dancer OST mixed together So it plays just like a CD, but it has to be DVD. And again, I included some more art on the inside. I don't think there's anything on the back. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, that's why that's that's the data disc one. Well, I forgot about that. Yeah, I pinched the artwork. Oh well. And these are all homemade, as I said earlier. Uh, I'll keep going through them. I've got Streets of Rage here. Ooh, look at this. Streets of Rage. This is a CD, audio, compact disc. So it's quite normal. Uh, yes, we have a picture of the composer on the back. And I think on the inside there's something. What is it on the inside? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Bit of sex appeal there. As soon as you move the as soon as you move the disc, you're confronted by giant breasts. How cool is that? So yes. Streets of Rage. What else have we got? What did else have we got? Oh the first Streets of Rage, of course. This is I reckon this one's even better. Um there's the composer again on the back. Yuzo Koshiro. So these are all recorded by me. Ooh, there's another another cool picture inside. Yes, I've done all these myself. I've recorded them all off the original hardware, or most of them off original hardware myself. I'm not into the vinyl format. I do think it's cool what data discs do, but I prefer the audio to be on CD because it's more versatile and more portable. You, with, with music CDs you can play them anywhere, in the car, um, you, you can take it with you, and I, I, not that anyone, I don't think anyone uses a portable disc lens anymore, but you know, that's something you can use. Oh, we've even got one of Tommy Tallarica. Okay. What else is here? Lemmings. There's two of these in here, actually. I think this one's the... I, I, I redid the soundtrack. I recorded it from an original Mega Drive, and then I re redone it. I released another one where I'd done it off the Gens emulator, just just to, to hear the sound difference. I think this is the Gens emulator one. Got Jewel Master with a crack case. This one's a good one. This one's karaoke, I called it. Uh, this one I actually recorded off YouTube. It's just, uh, you know, um, popular songs made in the style of Mega Drive Genesis by all different people. Virtual Fighter 2. Uh, that one's a sort of like a compilation album. 
Batman, the original Mega Drive Batman one, the one that's done by Naoki Kotaka. We've got an Alex Kid one. What's it called? Alex Kid soundtrack, arcade, Seeking so Mega Drive. So that would be a mixture of Enchanted Castle and Alex Kid: The Lost Stars from the arcade. We've got Golden Axe three. Dr. Robot is the main being machine. I got a Sonic Lady Gaga one. This is Sonic CD soundtrack, North American version. This is the proper Sonic CD soundtrack. It's got the entire Japanese PAL OST recorder on it, but it's on a DVD. Because there's no way I would fit all this on a DVD. So. Sapphire, Zero Wing, Street Racer, Alien Storm, Outrun, just the nuts, yeah. <clears throat> Jurassic Park, Rystar, Mortal Kombat Musicology, this is one where I Made a bit, bit of a bit more of an effort with the artwork again, like the Streets of Rage ones and the Shinobi one. Um, I think on the inside it's similar to Streets of Rage. There's another sexy picture. If you remove the disc, yep. How cool is that? And I've got that logo on the side again, so you know it's an authentic Mega Drive recording. Oh, we've got Super Fantasy Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog, Urban Grooves, yeah this one's all, um, it's a mixture of all stuff that doesn't use the same repetitive sounds over and over if you know what I mean, like I included all the MJ Brad Buxer stuff on here, plus other stuff. So there's that one, there's the Terminator from Matt Furness, Lemmings 2 The Tribes, again from Matt Furness, another Lemmings 1, one. I think this is the original one off a of Mega Drive, there's Sonic the Hedgehog, the reissue album, uh, this is power 50 hertz, it's not 60 hertz, I'll just point that out, Zool, Moonwalker, Moonwalker, and Moonwalker is interesting. I'm thinking of uploading this one next on my next music video. Now, why is it that everyone's afraid to upload the Moonwalker soundtrack these days? I mean, you might not be able to monetize the video, but I can guarantee you you're not going to get a copyright strike or anything of that nature because. Um, You'll probably get, if you were to upload the, the, the entire soundtrack, uh, you would most likely, you'd probably get slapped for music composition, where, you know, next to the video, it would say uh, content ID, you know, in blue. And then you go to check the video status, it's probably got 24 bloody content owners. You know, claiming the, the, the one song, Smooth Criminal. It's usually Smooth Criminal and Billy Jean that get tagged. You know, but you, it's, you're not going to get in trouble for it, I can guarantee it. They're not the original tracks, so they can't slug you for sound recording. Only music composition, and using music composition, it's nowhere near as harsh. But I'll give it a go in future. If no one else is going to do it, I'll do it. I mean, it's hard to find this, this OST around. And this hasn't just got the Moonwalker tracks, it's got some of his original music on it. So, see, I do like Michael Jackson. Jamita, what was his real name? Hiroshi Kabuta. Hey. So, I, I, I just... So, where was I? Yeah, I went through... I was here. There's the Revenge of Shinobi. That's, this is from Yuzo Kashiro as well. We all know this one, don't we? I don't think there's any other artwork. So these are just, honest to God, these are just stuff I've done in my own time. 
one now. Oh, this one's interesting. An album by Yuzo Boy. What's this one called? The Revenge of Game Gear Shinobi. Oh, okay. I did this one not long ago. Hmm. That's pretty good, that one. That, was, that one's off YouTube. The Hybrid Front. Can't forget the Hybrid Front. Mega Man, The Wily Wars. This is a DVD because the soundtrack is got so big. As you can see there, it says DVD. Doesn't matter. You just have to play it in a DVD player. And just hook it up to your sound system. Sonic Dance Collection. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Oh, I uploaded this one recently. Galaxy Force 2. Robo Alesta? No, that's not Robo Alesta. What's that? Musha. Musha, yes. Another Lemmings one. Mortal Kombat. Uh, this one's different to the other one. I think this one's the arcade soundtrack of the first three or four games. Chuck Rock. The Lawnmower Man. Super Hang On, and that's the arcade one, not the Mega Drive one. What well, says their arcade soundtrack? <laughs> Dummy. Best of Mega CD. Ooh, okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. This one's the vocal album. Okay, so that's a more recent one of all music from Sonic Adventure, Adventure Two, Heroes, uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings, etc. Sonic Four. Super Street Fighter 2. I don't know why that's in there. That's not a game soundtrack. Neither is that. Soundtrack of Illusion. <laughs> Diddy Kong Racing. That's Nintendo 64. That's about the only Nintendo 64 soundtrack I like. Street Fighter 2 soundtrack. I think this one's from Special Champion Edition on the Mega Drive Genesis. Street Fighter 2 Arcade Original Soundtrack. Okay, so this one's the original one. What's it say? Capcom CPS 1. Yep, and I've got the music composer on the other end. Yeah, so that's the original one of that. Sonic Music DVD 4. Uh -huh. One Driver Championship. That's an Nintendo 64 racing game. That's got a pretty cool soundtrack. Superman, that didn't bother with the artwork. Best of Jeff Van Dyke. Uh, what is here? Lemmings PlayStation. I got Sagaya again. But it's Master System. I got a few Master System ones here. Yep. Game Boy Advance. Master System Sonic the Hedgehog. Another Master System Sonic the Hedgehog one. I actually drew that myself. And we got all the compilation Master System ones. Classics Collection Volume 5. Classic Collections Volume 6. Volume 7, Castle of Illusion, what's this, Matt Furnace Collection, Volume 4, so yeah these are all Master System ones. Here he is, Matt Furnace, Collection 3, Collection 2, Wonder Boy, Alex Kidd, another Master System son of mine, Best of Wave Master, Poya Pop Fever, Super Street Fighter 2, Game Boy Advance soundtrack.
and Lemmings, which is what Matt Furnace Collection runs. Yeah, so there's all that. And there's even more over here. I've got to show these off. Let me just get them. It all started with these ones, really. I mean, this is probably one of my favourites. Sonic Music DVD 1. It's got the Mega Drive logo on the side. Uh, there's no artwork on the back, but if I open it up, you've got all the songs. It's a two-hour soundtrack. That's how long they made it. If you move the disc, you get a picture of the composer. So how cool is that? So I've gone through a bit of an effort with some of these. Uh, what else is here? This is the second one. So this would be the whole sound. The first one's the soundtrack of Sonic 1 and 2, obviously. This one is Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yes. We've got that. Mm, just put that on the inside. And we got the third one. Sonic 3D Flicky's Island or Blast, whatever you want to call it. On the inside it's just got that. Yes. You might think it's a bit strange putting them on uh, DVD, but I like the infinite recording time of music. And I've got... I'll just pull these out. Oh, shit. Something dropped. Anyway. You don't want to see all my Sonic CDs? Like music CDs, albums I've made? I've got tons here. Like, what's this one? Sonic the Hedgehog Mega Drive Revolution. Sonic the Hedgehog. More from the Mega Drive Vault. Sonic the Hedgehog Disco Dazzlers. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. The Best of the Hacks and Fan Music Volume 2. I'm yet to upload that one. A Sonic Mildness soundtrack. What's this? Sonic the Hedgehog Instrumentals Forever. Hedgehog Gold. Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehog Heaven. Sonic Jukebox. The best of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. The Lost Era. Okay, not much artwork on these on that one. Whoa, look at this. This is the one I just uploaded. So if you're not aware of it, the last video I uploaded was this entire soundtrack. And I'll prove it. See? The list of songs will match the track listing in the last video. As that's the one I did first because I like volume three. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 remixes which are done on the Mega Drive, but in the style of Sonic 1 and 2. 16-bit uh, Rippers. Sonic gets Volume 1. Oh, this is Sonic the best of the hacks and fan music. This is Volume 1. So, there's that one. This is Instrumental Greats. Melodies of Pleasure. Sonic Anthems. Well, we haven't got Sonic Mania, but we've got Mega Drive Mania. So, that's... Jeez, I was supposed to make a short video. On, well, how long, is, how long is this? What, over 10 minutes now? So, there's all that. Plus, there's one more thing I wanted to show. Here in Australia, back in the day when Sega were really popular, we got these, like, pamphlets that came with the... Instruction, instruction booklets in the cases of, of some of the games it was you know like Sonic says join the official Sega club and I just wanted to show these off I don't know if anyone's ever showed these off before they're pretty cool like you yeah, open them up and uh, uh, I'm trying to outdo it with one hand and it's hard one side it focuses all on the Mega Drive it tells you you know, this is when this is when the console was new. You know, the Sega Mega Drive is the hottest console available in Australia. You've got to get one. You get a catalogue of the newest games that came out. As you can see, these are all early releases. 
nothing nothing over 1991 and on the other side you get master system because master system was quite popular here and you get the catalog of Sega master system games again you can tell they're all early releases nothing over 1990 or 91 I think they left a spot there's a little spot here for the game gear yeah that's pretty cool I mean I never joined this the Sega Club back then but I wish I did uh, in the main section here it says introducing the hottest ever Sega game now on Mega Drive Master System 2 and Game Gear And here we are, how, how many years later? What? Nearly nearly 30 years later and we're still playing this game? It's stood the test of times, hasn't it? Here is what, Sonic 2. So these were issued by Sega Aussiesoft. They were our dis distributor back then, so. Pretty cool. You get all these. Yeah, this is a later catalogue. But these are these releases are a little bit later. Streets of Rage is on there. What's on the other side? See, these are all later Master System games. But I just wanted to show show this off. Membership application. Do you think it's too late if I if I uh, sent this in <laughs> and tried to become a member? It's like the Hedgehog Two. Arguably the most popular Sega game ever made, ever. Sonic 2. That was the big daddy, that one. Yeah, so. To get this much, it takes ages. So, yeah, Sega. And data discs, you're way behind. <laughs> but seriously, I think what they do is good. I, I think it's good, you know, if you're into vinyl... You know, it's good to get. It's good that someone's taking video game music seriously and and putting it on on vinyl. You know, and and that's good. You know, just vinyl's not my format. That's all. I prefer compact disc or DVD or even cassettes. I don't mind cassettes. I mean, I still got, I still got my tape player here. See, homemade recorded tape. You hear that? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll stop it there. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later. Bye.